Bill O'Reilly is going to rage out. And this is such a good example of Fox News bias because his anger is 100% misplaced. He's going to be talking to Britt Hume about how uh, veterans' benefits are being affected by the government shutdown. Let's listen. Hume, you don't give it to the pinheaded lawyers. You have the president write an executive order that this is funded. Nobody's going to challenge it, okay? And it's funded. You take the stupid lawyers out of it. That's what you do if you're a leader. And that's what this is all about, this military thing. This is about leadership. Where's Chuck well, Cable? Have you seen Chuck around? Where is he? Where? Well, what interview has he done? Where is he? Where is this man? The Department of Defense Secretary. Where is he? It, this guy should be fired immediately. He has no right to be there. He's lost all credibility with the military. Get out of here. You see, this is what drives me crazy. They're not leaders. These aren't leaders. Bill, Please, keep, in mind, keep, keep in mind what they may believe their leader, President Obama, is trying to accomplish in this shutdown. We've seen all this monkey shines with the National Park Service and the closing of open air monuments and things that are plainly unnecessary designed to make the government shutdown hit as hard as possible. It is not inconceivable that this was part of that. Now, I'm not saying it was uh, If it was, it, then President well, Obama it, is in big trouble. Well, if you can prove... Well, well, wait, let me, let me I, get to this. Look, I mean, wait, 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 Bill, wait. I can't prove that. Okay, I know you can't. And, and that's why that. I haven't really engaged in that, because it's speculation. But here's what's not speculation. Carney. What's the matter with Carney? He knows when President Obama knew about it. So he's stonewalling. Well, you covered no, Nixon. I, you know what well, the Nixon people did. Carney's doing exactly what they did. Well, if I were Carney, they were think. Look, there's a distinct possibility that, it, that Carney didn't didn't find out because he knew he'd asked the question and he presumed the they, answer would be embarrassing to the president. So That's he not deliberately. His job. Press secretaries do that all the time. Well, then get out of there. It's not his job to stonewall. <laughs> <laughs> well, look, well, Hagel, Carney, all of them, go. You don't want to serve the people, go. You can make a lot of money in the private sector. You know, I'm tired of this. I'm, I'm, I'm confident you are, and that a lot of other Americans are too. All right. Well, I'm sorry I got a little out of hand, but I am really hot <laughs> about this. I, well, I want these Bill, weasels to knock it off. Bill, you and I are charter members of the Surrender and the Rhino Caucus, so I know you weren't angry with me. No, I'm not angry with you. <laughs> I, I'm, I want Hegel. I want Hegel. I want him. Uh, I can't tell you how much I enjoy this clip for so many different reasons. It's such a microcosm of what Fox News is. So what you have is Bill O'Reilly, and remember what Bill O'Reilly represents. He represents middle-aged or even just flat-out older uh, white men in the country, either Catholic, WASP, uh, and just the establishment. Bill O'Reilly just, he drips of, I am the establishment, I am the 1950s power structure, right? And he speaks for that segment of hardcore Republicans, right? And there he is, he's out there, he's angry, he's loud, He's pointed in his criticism, he's concise. He's saying a whole lot of words, and if you notice, he always, uh, he's very specific. Obama, 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 Hegel, 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 Carney, 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 right? So, uh, Secretary of Defense, White House uh, press spokesperson, and the President himself, and he just keeps repeating it. These guys aren't out there to help you, these guys don't care about you, they don't want to serve the people, they're weasels, yada, yada, right? But remember what the issue at hand is. And th therein lies the reason why I always mock the right-wingers so much and why I always, I I'm always flabbergasted by them, right? Is that who shut down the government? The Tea Party, Ted Cruz. I ran a clip for you guys the other day, and in fact I should have brought it up now too, of all the different uh, Republicans saying, no, we are in favor of a government shutdown, we're going to do a government shutdown, they don't give us what we want, we're going to do it, and it won't even be that bad. In fact, it might even be better. We like it. We like shutting down the government, right? And they're openly on that page. They still are, a lot of them, openly on that page, right? So the Republicans are explicit. Ted Cruz is the one who leads the charge. John Boehner follows like a lemming off the cliff. All of them, except bar maybe John McCain, who's been the only vocal opponent, they're all like, yeah, government shutdown, rock and roll, let's do it, right? So the Republicans shut down the government. One of the consequences of the government shutting down is that uh, veterans' benefits uh, are slowed and stopped in certain respects for, like we talked about yesterday, uh, the uh, surviving spouses' benefits. 
uh, injured veterans, right? These are all programs that are affected very disastrously. So the Republicans shut down the government. That's a consequence of shutting down the government. But Bill O'Reilly goes out there and yells at Obama, Hegel, and Carney. Why? Because Obama didn't uh, put it back in place via executive order. Now, is it even legal for Obama to do an executive order for that thing specifically? I don't know. You don't know. Nobody knows, right? But that's not the point. The point is, you just assume that it is, and then you go out there and rant against Obama, you rant against the Secretary of Defense, who has nothing to do with this, uh, about this issue, and you say, there, it, quit, get out of there, you don't care about representing the people, uh, you don't serve the people at all, and you're weasels, right? Now, to your average Fox News viewer, they're, they're salivating over this, and they're angry. They're ready to send letters to Obama, Hagel, and Carney, and, you know, they're talking in bars on the weekend, and when they're drinking coffee at the coffee shop with their buddies, when they're playing golf, they talk about this ad nauseum. Can you believe these guys? Can you believe these guys? But it's the Republicans who did it! They shut down the government! They are the ones responsible for this! They are the ones who are not serving the people! They are the ones who are the weasels! But see, Bill O'Reilly takes a legitimate concern, legitimate anger, but flips the blame on its head. And just goes, well, it's obviously the Democrats. Not at all! The facts dictate the exact opposite.